Today we're going to answer the question, what can an entry level hardtail actually achieve? So it's been a long time since I worked with the Marin San Quentin hardtail. This was a project that I was super involved with with Marin, where we wanted to design a hardtail mountain bike that can do everything. A bike that's as suited on pump tracks and kind of your local trails as it is here at Whistler Mountain Bike Park. So this is the San Quentin one, which is their most entry level model. The prices for this are 895 pounds or 1100 US dollars. It's a super sick bike with like heavy upgrade options. It's got the routing for a dropper post. It's a bike that you can absolutely upgrade yourself and make better, but fresh out of the box, this is brand new. And I've just got the lift up to the top of A-Line. So I feel like we're going straight in the deep end on a bike that I know is capable, but I want to prove to you guys how epic these hardtails truly are. And for that price point, coming to Whistler, it's going to be a sick video, isn't it? Let's drop into A-Line. <laughs> I've got Duncan Shaw following me on his trail bike. I'm nervous. Let's do it, you ready? A-line. Right, the brakes are definitely gonna need to bed in. Woo! So far, so good. Right, I'm gonna get into it now. I can trust this thing properly. Here we go. So sick. That actually feels really comfortable. Do you want to go into the woods to do some berms? This bike does do it all. Even though the brakes really need to bed in. This is actually super hardtail friendly. Oh. <laughs> Woo! You can rip this bike. Oh my word, this has honestly really surprised me. I dropped you. I actually lost you. <laughs> it's not too bad. This thing blows my mind, honestly. Spend less than 900 quid on this and come to Whistler. How much money will you have left over for beer and food and fun? Yeah, this is it. sick. Look at that feature there. Gonna... Let's push this hardtail to the limits pulled over on the side of that nice smooth blue and already I'm kind of getting really overexcited about this hardtail. So we found this proper classic North Shore Whistler style track with a drop up there over a tree stump and then this step onto a bridge and a drop off. And the landing is full and riddled with braking bumps. That's a bit that's going to catch me out. But actually to prove what a hardtail can do at Whistler Bike Park, I can't ignore this stuff. This is Whistler. So let's do some proper black diamonds already. This wasn't what we had planned. We were going to do blue runs and maybe A-line, and now look. <laughs> oh, I love this bike. Oh, wow. All right, boys. Oh, we're on now. That was scary. Yeah. This bike's brilliant. Right, let's carry on. It was so sick stopping and doing some proper jumps on this thing though. I've got so much faith in it now. So we can go big. Woo. Oh, you do feel the rocks, but I kind of like it. It's proper involved. Oh my god, that's that was not the track! But she loves it! The hardtail loves it! I'm so stoked that this bike can just hit the drops, the jumps, road gaps. Now we're back on real technical stuff. Because of the super slack head angle, this bike just eats it up and you can maintain so much control. I'm buzzing, I'm so into it.
There's a brand new track here called Tatiana. It is a double black diamond. <laughs> I think it'll be the first time the San Quentin one's been taken down a double black diamond. I kind of want to be the first. Fair and if we're out here to prove this bike, let's do it, boys. And you start things off with a nice skinny. Right, jump onto this and jump off. Oh my God. Right, this is going to be so hairy. I can't, I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Wow, what can't this bike do? Oh! That was nearly a, nearly a crash, but I didn't. This is a double black. Oh my god, oh my god. Woo! Mark tails! Yes! <laughs> Mate, this, thing, this thing's astonishing! <laughs> what a bike! Hey! I'm pretty sure it's only got 130 mil of front travel. All of these rocks are bigger than 130 mil. <laughs> It just deals with it so well. You can probably hear the brake bumps, but the fact that I'm still going and still have life in my arms and hands is a pretty good thing. I'm loving this. It's like you get to appreciate mountain biking all over again because all the little elements of the trail come out. Yes. I spent the entire start of my career riding hardtails and people told me like, man, they told my parents even, don't get your sons, Matt, Jono, downhill bikes, enduro bikes. They don't need them. They need to learn all their skills on a hardtail. And I think for me, having that as a reminder, I spend, I spend so little time on these aggressive hardtails now. I, I'm going to definitely build up my San Quentin again. It's just so fun. And the San Quentin 1 being the most entry level spec, the fact that we just did a lap of Whistler Bike Park and it just ate it up. I hit the jumps, the technical stuff, the road gaps, the rock rolls, the roots, the berms. It's just so good value for money. It's a brilliant. So, Get online, get down your local Marin dealer and ask about the San Quentin one. Because honestly, we're at the best mountain bike park on earth. And that feels like just the best bike if you're getting into it. Legends.